Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our talk for this week is about the artwork shaping tools like Weld and Intersect and Trim. Uh, they are found here at the top of our workspace in this green tool group. And currently they are dimly lit and not available. And so to be able to use the artwork shaping tools, essentially you need some kind of artwork on your screen. Um, that could be as simple as uh, a shape like a rectangle uh, but in reality to do artwork shaping you need two artwork shapes you know because it's all about sort of welding two shapes together and so i guess what i'm trying to say here is i need another shape to you know be able to create um an overlapping area you know between two areas so i need two shapes and ideally they need to be touching in some area uh, now to make it work i would need to select both shapes so if i use my select tool i can click and drag to select both shapes um, or I could just use my um, sequence area and click on, uh, you know, the top to select both, uh, you know, all items. And once you have two artwork shapes selected, notice that in your green tool group, there is a button that has a black triangle beside it. Uh, and that will uncover a group of tools that are known as the artwork shaping tools. And the first one is called trim. Second one is called well. The next one is called um, intersect. The next one is called exclude. And the last one is called divide. And I'll show you exactly what they do. Um, what you need to understand is right now we have a two shapes. Uh, one of them is, uh, you know, a circle or an ellipse. And the other one is a rectangle and they are complete shapes. And if I select both shapes and I click on the tool and I choose to... Uh, did I already do it? Hold on. Yeah. So let me hit undo <laughs> there. So, uh, I meant I selected the tool and used one of the choices, but what I wanted to do is click on the little triangle beside it to show you the choices. So the choices are trim and let's start with trim and then we'll kind of go through each one and show how it changes. So when I use trim, what happened was the um, segment that's on top, which is the ellipse, uh, essentially took a bite out of and trimmed away any of the rectangle that was underneath. So when you have two shapes, and let me hit undo, so you can see that there's a full rectangle underneath the ellipse. But when I select both shapes and I choose trim, then the ellipse will trim the rectangle. And I still have two shapes, but those two shapes are trimmed. Uh, well, one of the shapes was trimmed by the second shape. Okay, so that's called trim. I'm going to hit undo to put the piece back to where it was and undo again to uh, get rid of the trim. And so you can see that we're back to having, you know, one rectangle and one ellipse. Um, so from here, when I select both, if I choose the next option, which was weld, then what happens is it becomes one global shape. So it gets rid of the lines um, and the shapes. It makes it all one shape. It simply is a rectangle that has been, uh, you know, married together with an ellipse. And so it's a uh, weld will take any uh, overlapping areas and uh, combine the two shapes into one, um, getting rid of the overlapping areas or including them, I guess. So basically weld um, gets rid of the rectangle and the ellipse and makes a new shape with the combined outline of the two. Okay, so let's click undo. So now you can see we're back to, you know, a full on rectangle and an ellipse. And this time when we select, we'll choose um, intersect. So intersect uh, pretty clear what it did. Um, it left just the area where the ellipse and the rectangle overlap. So if I undo, you can see what I'm saying. It made a new shape and the new shape. So it's called intersect and it takes the rectangle and it combines it with the ellipse and only keeps the area where they are uh, overlapping each other. So that is called intersect. And so once again, we're uh, kind of back at the beginning uh, and I'm going to select both and try the next artwork shaping tool. And now we have one that is called 
um, exclude. And so if I go ahead and choose exclude, um, you'll, it's, uh, it's interesting what it's done. It looks like it's done nothing. But if I look in the sequence area, I can see that there is still a rectangle and there is still an ellipse. Uh, but what's different is they've excluded the area in between. So um, perhaps one way to show that would be to make these uh, filled in instead of outlined so you can see what I'm talking about. So essentially, we still have the rectangle and we still have the ellipse, um, but we no longer have the area that was, um, you know, the common area in between. And so that is called exclude, and it left this part out. So now let me hit undo to get rid of the solids and undo to go back to. And once again, you can see that we're back to the beginning again with a solid rectangle and a solid ellipse. And so last time, we'll select both shapes. And this time, we're going to try one called divide. So when I choose divide again, doesn't really seem like anything happened. But if you look at your sewing sequence, you'll see that actually... There's that piece that was excluded, you know, the intersecting piece that has been made into one piece. Then the, um, you know, rectangle minus the overlapping piece and the oval minus the overlapping piece. So essentially now we've got um, the ability to have these ones filled in in one color and yet the other one could be filled in in a different color. And so you see kind of what I mean. But and essentially, these are what you would call artwork shaping tools. They will work with any piece of artwork. Uh, it's worth any of the shapes of your program. Now, the one thing I will say is um, maybe I'll just start with a new one here quickly. If I have uh, a rectangle here, let's have two rectangles. If they were both filled in with thread, so they're no longer artwork their embroidery elements and if i select both embroidery elements then these tools are not available so the artwork shaping tools are only available when your shapes are filled with simple artwork and if you apply thread to them then they're no longer artwork shapes and you can no longer use the weld and the trim if you really wanted to use weld and trim then what you would need to do is take the thread out which I'm sure you know is the little yellow star at the bottom where I can select, which basically says make these back into artwork pieces and not filled in embroidery pieces. Yeah. So if you change them back into embroidery and you select them, then yes, you can use the artwork shaping tools to create the different effects. And so we hope you enjoyed this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Until next week, have a great day and bye for now.